What's up folks, it's Frank with Horizon Land Management and today I am working on building out some walls for my truck. Um, as you may have seen in one of our previous videos, we just got a new enclosed trailer and uh, it's our first enclosed trailer. Previously we've used open trailers, but um, because we do have an enclosed trailer now there is a drawback. Um, which is I cannot haul grass, leaves, mulch, branches, and all that stuff inside the trailer. So what we're doing to compensate for that this year is we're building up walls on the truck. So I just wanted to put together a quick how-to video here of how we're going to go about doing that and uh, hope that it helps someone out there. Um, if it doesn't, great. Just uh, feel free to watch and laugh and uh, point out any mistakes that we make. But um, if it does help somebody, then that's what we're doing this for. So here we go. So I have a 2016 HD, Chevy HD 2500, and uh, came with these plastic toppers here. So the first thing I had to do was cut out the inserts so that we could uh, access the stake holes. And so I had to cut out four, and then these back ones were already open. So in my planning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build walls that are 18 inches high. And um, so all I needed to do is get enough 1x6s, pressure treated of course, and uh, three pieces per side plus three pieces for the front there. So I got a total of nine 1x6s pressure treated. And then for the uh, supports on the side walls, I got pressure treated pressure treated uh, two by fours um, now as you know the two by fours are too wide to fit into the stake holes so these are about three inches wide so uh, they go down about six and a half to seven inches and uh, they're three inches wide so I'm going to compensate for that and I'm going to uh, shave about a half an inch off of each side about six inches down you know it'll look like a, a paddle handle and those will go down into uh, the stake holes and that'll be my vertical supports and then i'll just start bolting the one by sixes on so i will continue once i've made some progress and show you where we're at here we go okay so as you can see we got the first two supports in and uh like we were saying I don't know how your parents were when you grew up, but this is what I got beat with growing up. But it looks like a little paddle, actually a pretty big paddle. But um, it ended up being two inches, two and five eighths inches, and uh, goes right down in there. This doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna cover that up with uh, two, one by six. But, um, so those are the supports. I got four more to do. And uh, once you get the first one done, you just take your take them and uh, lay it on the two by fours, trace it, cut it. That way they're all the same, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so we have all six supports in, and so now what we have to do is secure them to the truck. So we're going to use self tappers and we are going to self tap right into the truck two of them vertically just to hold the supports from wiggling forward and backward and as you can see it's uh not straight so we will pull that in these two back ones there was a lot of play down in the hole so what i ended up doing is creating a shim just by taking the pieces that i cut off and i cut a short little piece and I stuck it down in the hole and pushed it up against the wall. So this piece is sitting right here on the inside. And then the two by four is up against it. So that whenever I self tap it in there with the screws, it'll pull it tight up against the wall. 
and it'll stay vertical. So now I'm gonna secure the, the uh, vertical supports. And once we do that, we'll start putting on the one by sixes. And we're all secured now. See, I used self tappers to drill through the metal, but the self tappers I have weren't long enough and I didn't feel like going to Lowe's again for the third time. So I just used an um, inch and a half drywall screws with uh, fender washers. And I uh, did that to all six of them. in the wood because I laid it down on my concrete uh, floor in the garage so it is an arch in the bed but uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill my 3 8 holes for my uh, carriage bolts and get these walls up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay one side is done sorry for the wind it's crazy windy today so uh, doesn't look too shabby. I was afraid it was going to be too short, but looks like it comes almost perfectly to the top of my cab. So I'm all right with that. Now, once I get the front wall on here, it won't look so weird. But the uh, front wall is going to come right in the front of the wood that's there. Looks pretty good, if I say so. Um, what I used here was. 3 8 fender washer, 3 8 lock nut, or lock washer, and then just a regular 3 8 PEX bolt on all of them. So yeah, time to get the other side done, and I'll work on the front. Okay, so we got both sides done, and now we're ready to do the front. So once you got this down, this system down pad, it's pretty quick. I got those holes drilled really fast. Got the fender washers, the lock washers, and then the lock or the uh, X nuts on there. Tightened everything down, pulled it up nice and straight. And so now the front is pretty much prep. You got to do a lot of prep work, and then once you do the prep work, it'll go in fairly easy so I took my measurements across uh, I took them at the top and the bottom and uh, the top is bowing out about a quarter inch on each side so I took the average width which is 70 and one half inches and now I'm laying it out right now I cut my three one by sixes at 70 and um, a half and I marked the center. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the window out so that I can still see through my rear view mirror. And then I'm gonna cover that with some stretched steel. Um, once I have the center cut out for the window, I'm gonna put um, two by fours on each side and then cut out the window. And then I have some uh, 90 degree brackets that I'm gonna use to bolt this on either side on the top and the bottom to support it so we'll show you what that looks like once we get her done okay and there you have it our front piece with the window cut out ready to be installed these are one by sixes that i split in half to hold it together Sixes. And for this, I didn't use bolts, I just used drywall screws with fender washers. Um, just because it's not holding a lot of weight, it's not supporting much at all. Um, so it's basically just a makeshift headache rack with a window cut out. So now we're going to get it installed and uh, I will show you how we're going to do that. And there it is. 
temporarily installed, but that's what she looks like. I didn't go up higher because I didn't want to block my brake light, my strobe lights, or my bed lights, my bed lamp. And as you can see, that's plenty of room for the rear view mirror to look out. So I'm pretty happy with that. And these aren't secured yet, but you can see it's pretty good. The top I can still move in and out because it's not fastened. But as you can see, I mean, it's pretty good. I'll pull it all in and make it perfect once I put the brackets on there. So now, let me show you what I'm working with here. I'm gonna take these metal brackets. I have fender washers and I have um, quarter inch bolts that are four inches long. And I'm probably gonna go on the outside right like this and uh, there's two holes on each side and I'll put one on the top and the bottom to secure this in you can see my pencil I have here as a spacer so I'll have four supports to hold that in and that should be plenty of support to hold that room piece so there you have it guys I'm going to install this and I'll show you the finished product and I'll be right back with you. And there we have it folks, it's done. Those are the angle brackets I decided to go back and get because the other ones were too long to fit in this space. So I returned them and I got smaller ones and uh, this thing is super sturdy. I always do things overkill, but I mean, it is not going anywhere. So there you have it. Take a look from down on the ground. Now I'll probably I don't know if I'm going to paint it black or if I'm going to stain it. I don't know what will look nicer. But I got to cut the tops of the supports off. Make it flush. It's got a little bit of a boxy look to it, but hey, it would look worse if it was taller. I'm happy with it. So now, before the walls, I could haul three yards of mulch easily and the mulch would come just above the bed so now I can probably haul about five yards of mulch without any problems so there you have it folks that's uh, that's how I went about building walls on my truck so if you have any questions comments please leave them below and uh, I always answer my comments, even if they're negative. Um, I, don't, I don't claim to know everything. I'm always willing to be taught, always willing to learn something. And so if you know a better way or you've done something differently, I'm all ears. So go ahead and leave a comment below um, or like, and be sure to subscribe to my page. All right, thank you.